our our winners finals going. And it appears that eight lender has are they beaten cream? I don't know. No, they've they've played them anyway. So loser's bracket is going apace. <laughs> yeah, this is actually it's worth noting. This is a bit of a grudge match. So Magical and Santa Claus are the pretty much the two top players that are active. Because Hydra hasn't been playing a whole lot recently. But yeah, they're kind of the two top players that are active. So we we have seen mostly Santa get second place. Like, Magical's usually beaten them. But last week, Santa did win. They, they won the tournament. First time. Now they're here to defend that championship. Actually, not last week. Two weeks ago. The last week's tournament was canceled due to the lack of signups. But the last 1v1 tournament, Santa won. What the heck? What map does Santa want? Someone needs to get Santa a second monitor. Okay, we're going to Lost Province. Going to Lost Province. Let's go. See, this is what I'm curious. If Santa does go for Orzum, well, I should see Orzum against Magical. Oh, okay. They go for Orzum, we see Orzum against Magical. We'll see whether or not Orzum has some options in the current patch. As I discussed earlier, like, is Ajari the most popular one? Or the best one? We don't know. Ajari is definitely currently popular. But that is something that remains to be seen. Oh. Like, whether or not Ajari is the best of the two. I think in the last match showed that Saoshin aren't dominatingly powerful. They're good, but they're not everything. Although, before, I think maybe earlier, I mean, honestly, if Wajizou had expanded earlier, that would have been a very different game. Like, the fact that Wajizou basically didn't expand throughout that entire period where they were at least dealing some damage and getting some defenses in that didn't do them any favors had they expanded they would have had more of an economy to shift into more of an anti like part anti-air anti-ground approach get the get the arc mothers up and have that as a anti centauri force possibly get dervishes up because those are good anti centauri force they just didn't have the resources to do anything Apparently, turns out that neither Santa nor Magical are particularly good at being mean, which I, I suppose is a good thing. Yeah, or some. I mean, they were pretty dominant last patch, so I'm not going to be. Like, if they're on par with Ajari, that's good. That's what we want. We don't want we don't want anything too overwhelming. You know, that's just not gonna work. <sighs> <sighs> I 
Okay, we might we might get some BM if Santa starts taking this. Magical has thoughts. Magical's thoughts about how they're going to be approaching this. Should things go badly for them. Alright. Going to go Zul. Is Santa going to go for Orzum? Are they going to go for Jari? Are they going to go for Zul? They were going for Zul a little bit before, so maybe. Hmm. Who knows? Well, Santa knows. May know. Might eventually figure it out. Orzum it is. So, moment of truth. What can Orzum do current patch? Against a against two between two players that are really strong. Oh, that might be incorrect. <laughs> I think the Bastion numbers change this patch. Well, Magical already getting set up for that fast Icor speed. Santa Claus. Looking like they want fast expansion. And indeed, it would appear they do. So we've seen it before, four minutes in, like or speed from Magical. Santa Claus, they're going to be obviously needing to defend this. Like that's going to be a little bit easier on Lost Province than it had been on Frontiers. Just the shape of the expansion is a little bit easier, but even then, Icor coming from the side, that still would be a significant problem. But yeah, it's a little bit easier. You got the body blocking from the actual, the Acropolis itself. And the tower, it's a bit harder for Icor to maneuver around here. It's still a problem. Like, don't get me wrong, it's still going to be a challenge for Santa Claus to defend this. They're just going to have a much easier time than Itlander had. Both for the map, and also, yeah, Orzum does have range Centauri. Like, the fact that Centauri have range and the damage, it's going to significantly increase their ability to wipe out Ikor. I mean, they're still obviously weak to Ikor in terms of, like, damage armor, but there are so many... The, uh, right. Zentari has so much HP. Santa Claus should be able to maintain a defense force of Zentari under an Icor attack, just because Magical won't be able to wipe out those Zentari quickly enough that Zentari can't like stop the Icor from doing significant damage. Like Santa Claus should be able to stop Magical's attack. Maybe not kill all the Icor. Maybe still lose some stuff, but not be wiped out. That being said, of course, Magical will then have free reign of the map, so Santa Claus on the map, like, they won't be able to do as much, but in their own base, yeah, defending the Icors should be no problem. Speed Icor definitely on the way. We see the same build as before. Go for the early Amber Womb, get the God Heart, upgrade alongside Neurosight. The two finish about the same time, and then you get the... You get... The speed upgrade for the Icor, and then about four minutes in, your Icor are fast. But again, Santa Claus already has a solid defense force against this. So taking advantage of the lack of any Icor, because early game Magicals just can have not, no army whatsoever. Santa Claus making sure to get Pyre. I'll put a little bit for things like, say, Empire and Broken if it comes down to... Man, Magicals being sneaky. But yeah, Empire and Broken might help out. Possibly dropping another tower foundation. See what happens. The important thing is that Santa Claus has gotten their early approach, early setup for the fence, and now it's just a matter of actually using it. Magical with the non-speed Icors. Threatening Santa a little bit. Santa's got to be careful here. They're not in hallowed ground. Oh, these entire are not in hallowed ground. That is scary. Oh, wait, no, never mind. They are. It's just the graphics are wonky. They are on Hallow Ground. My bad. Thinking, that's right next to Soul Foundry. What are you... 
What are you talking about, Dominic? That's that's a hallowed ground area. Yeah, that's that's absolutely a hallowed ground area. My bad. On top of that, of course, the Absolver. This time in a position where the i will have to get hit by it quite a bit on the way in. Santa Claus is also fairly clever with building placement, just to make sure hallowed ground is basically everywhere. Did lose in Zentari, but so far they're taking out three i -Corps. Now Magical has no reason to really stop pushing this. Again, it's i into Thrum. That is always what we see. That's what we're seeing now. Early Zephyr definitely helps get rid of the Thrum side of that equation. But need a lot of them. And the Zentari have been mostly wiped out to remain. Slowly healing up. This force is not enough to really deal with this. Zentari. Find an extra little bit of firepower. Santa Claus can hold for the time being. So they have the anti-air. Thrums won't be able to do too much damage. Icors are also not in high enough numbers to threaten significantly. Santa Claus got to be careful. The micro does lose the last Centauri. The Icor have a lot more room to maneuver now. They don't have to worry about the Centauri damage. So with the scepter coming in, that's again just that much more the Icors have to push through. Magical's going to go to the next phase of their plan, whatever that phase may be. It's not clear what they're thinking other than more money. Oh, yeah, more money. More money, some harassment, get some pyre. Like, right. Magical realizes they cannot break this right now. But they're fine with that. Oof, they might take it for a bit of damage. Ooh, it's gotta be careful here. Like, no, that's, that's entirely... Or sorry, the Zephyr rather. They can they can start wrecking those Zycors. The Zycors do not have they, they aren't really well equipped to deal with with Santa's army composition at all. Santa's Santa's pretty well set up, to be honest. Of course, that could change if Santa f gets out of position in the wrong way. The army value is simply not or army composition well better for Santa. It's still, it's still iffy. These thrums are, these thrums are just absolutely haranguing them. Like that, it's not, it's not a position Santa Claus can contest the map in. Like, a magical still has total map control. Like, if Santa moves out at all, they are going to lose everything. Like thrums going around the back and dealing much of damage, or the thrums going forward and dealing much of damage, weapon on the scepters. Shifting into Bone Stalkers, Magical will be better prepared against the Zephyr and Scepter. Santa Claus has thrown at them. But not a well enough yet. Santa Claus finding the right time to hit. Magical simply cannot defend this. The Thrums going around the back are still a threat. Santa's not so concerned. I mean, they've got Sentinels. They're pretty well set up. Like, honestly, right now, Santa Claus can just fight this. Like they can push back Magical's force entirely. This this early attack phase is over. Magical has been rebuffed. Now, of course, the question arises: Is this a Lost Province specific counter strategy, or is it something that anyone can apply anywhere? It did feel a little bit Orzum specific because the Zentari having the ranged attack and heavy damage that that significantly changes the balance of power. We saw Atlander try to go for early Reliquary and early Absolver themselves, which didn't do as much good. Partly that was because they didn't have it quickly enough, but partly it was because they didn't have a solid secondary force. The like, Sapari simply don't have the ability to take Ikors on the same way as Antari do. At least in Hallowed Ground. Magical... Not done with the harassment quite yet. Going in hard. Santa, however, with that tower, that is an Orzum specific part of the counter, is able to just stop the Psycho, dealing, taking a bit of damage, but one Icor is not a threat. Thrums did not come in at the same time either. Magical, possibly distracted by something. 
has shifted over to a advanced infantry force, getting the Red Seers on top of Bonus Dockers, because Resonance is the backup. Magical. They have decided harassment is time is over. Now is the time for frontal assault. As much as Zol does a frontal assault, because it's Zol and Zol's all sneaky like. But to the degree that Zol can do a frontal assault, that is what Magical is preparing for. And I expect they are fully upgraded. Like these. Yeah, these bonus stalkers probably feel upgraded. Scout saving Santa Claus from an ambush. So careful. Gotta be so careful. Sanding out the three bases. Magical going for an ambush. Bone Stalkers get the hits in. One Scepter down. Second Scepter does not go down. No damage bonus for the second one, but one Scepter down is still a significant shift in the balance of power here. Hey, one Scepter Snipe for nothing. Like, Santa Claus no longer has much in the way of air base splash. Like, the Magical doesn't have to worry about this so much. Gotta be careful here, but the Absolver simply cannot stop this. Not at the range that Magical's gonna be fighting them at. Santa Claus taking a retreat. Looking to regroup, using the throne as a rear guard and wiping out a third of the master a third of the bone stalkers from Magical. Magical once again going for that ambush. Pushing once more to take a snipe out of that throne. Snipes out the throne. Snipes out the absolver. One absolver down. Second absolver doesn't even matter. Magical takes the game one. Hell of a transition into ambush, stalkers. Gave the game. So, magical. Well played for game one. Now, Santa, it's a question of what game, what map do you want for game two? I'm going to guess Canyon. Like, Frontiers is scary to defend this kind of the early Ikor with. Yeah, Canyon is right. Okay. All right, let's see what Santa is going to pull out of their sleeve in Canyon. Are they going to go Orzum? If they go Orzum, are they going to go for... I guess Centauri Absolver seems to be kind of the, the go-to opening for them. And if they do that, is it going to work? Ooh, it looks like magical not being so normal. Well, okay. We've seen them go for a Jari a bit too, but not Zold this time. They don't see Speed Dicors working on this map, so no Zold. A Jari Mirror, in fact. Santa Claus not wanting to contest that Orzum side. They're a bit more concerned about winning, so yeah, we're going to see a lot more Jari. I think we're not going to be seeing Orzum much from Santa today. We saw some Orism earlier. Not a bad defense against Sol. Against the Ikors. But not a great defense, as ultimately Magical was able to transition out of that with map control to keep Santa Claus from actually contesting. Like, actually dealing with what Magical had built up. So Santa has got to rethink some things. Now, Magical, a little bit less tech approach than Santa Claus. Santa Claus, suspecting, is going to be going for early... I want to say early Warden, just the double ether. Like, Magical almost certainly going to be going for early Saushin, hence the single ether. But double ether is a lot for mass Saushin. It... Santa is... I don't know what they're going to be up to. Magical is going to want to be a little more aggressive, though. Just a little bit. They don't have the tech advantage. Or they won't have the tech advantage going forward for a little while. So, slight extra aggression could pay off. But at this stage in the game, being just smart about how you use your units is likely the way to go. And Magical not being too tricksy.
Santa Claus currently not being too tricksy. That, of course, it's still Santa Claus. They haven't been tricksy yet, but they haven't also been on the back foot in an important tournament match yet. So, Magical... Yeah, this early Pyre is basically the way to Magical. It's the way forward for Magical right now. They did get the early early aggression, or early army lead. Turn that into Bread for early Pyre. Or try to... Santa Claus going for the steal does not get the steal. Magical... I mean, of course, what they want is just the extra, you know, Pyre certainty. Make sure they have... They have the power to work with. They can drop. I mean, really, the main thing is their the ability to get out of there, get a dodge in a bad situation for that much buyer. But it's not much of an early lead. Like again, it's it's just magicals, magical and Santa both trying to find that tech lead that's gonna or not I mean a tech lead, but either tech lead, military lead, position lead, something to give them an advantage. Neither player's opening is significantly different from the other in a way that would require a particular approach. I mean, the main difference is, again, Santa Claus does have the ability to build the Angelarium sooner. They have teched up faster. Magical, going for Sasha. Magical, okay, they've definitely shifted to a posture where they're clearly gunning for an early fight. And the earlier, the better. Right now, Santa Claus is... Oh, wow. I think going for early... Okay, early Warden, at the very least. Possibly early Throne. Yeah, the longer Magical takes to go in for an attack, the better a chance Santa has to pull off whatever they're doing. Like, Santa's relying on Magical not being aggressive right now. Magical going for a little bit of a run by off of the Sapari. They should get a chance to see. Yeah, there's nothing stopping them. They will be able to see the two Angelaria. Which means they will clue in. Oh no. Santa's up to something. Because it's Santa, of course, is up to something. They're always up to something. Oh, is this gonna be. Do they see the Angel? They don't! The moat's block it. The Sapari cannot get through. Magical. Oh, they're gonna be able to defend. Magical spots it! One of the they get one of the Angelaria. They don't see both, but they do see that something is up. They should have been able to spot it. If they have spotted it, they're going to go highly aggressive because this is the best time to attack. Uh, they know for sure that Santa has teched up. They, I don't think they know that there's. They don't know that there's two Angelaria. They don't know that Santa is really focused on air, but they know that Santa is weak right now. Magical... Gonna get last bit of Pyre here? Okay. They're gonna go for it. They do get it. It's very close to salvation for both sides, honestly. Both both players are pretty well ready for that. Santa Claus. Again, it's just a matter of time. They have the early thrones. There it is. Six minute thrones from Santa. That's what they're building for. And keep an eye out. I mean, Santa will have to make sure to keep their supply cap going, and right now they are maxed out. This is it. Six minute thrones. This is Santa's entire game plan. Magical. They've got. I think they could. They could probably attack into two thrones with this. I don't know. Only three Zephyrs. No, they actually really couldn't. Now, Santa seems to have bought all the time they need. Of course, whether they reveal the thrones is the other question. Wardens around the back. Not not quite the revelation. I mean, Magical already knew. Santa had the, had the Angelarium. They knew Wardens were a likely possibility. They got Sentinels. They're already ready. They know. Thrones, however, maybe not so much. 
coming in now, and Santa with the Saushin as well, slowing everything down, so that'll just make it that much easier for the Thrones to start wreaking havoc. Santa on the flank with the Wardens. Riddling down Magical's army once Saushin goes down. Just slowing things a little bit. The main, the main target, of course, is going to be the Zephyrs. One goes down. Second Zephyr soon to go down. Third one should be able to escape. But, yeah, without that... More Zephyrs coming in. Forced to wind step away. Worth noting, wind stepping in a hollow ground means they can wind step twice as fast. So Magical will be able to start microing on a little bit more than before. And in previous batches. Ma what does it matter, though? Magical with Salvation. Burning their power to at least hold on to their army here. Santa Claus as well, just to maintain a position. Anything they lose just becomes more of an attack force. Doesn't lose much, though. Well, it's magical. They gotta retreat. They gotta try to heal up. Santa has this natural expansion on lock. Although, that being said, Santa Claus... Actually forced to retreat. Thrones only have to worry about these two Zephyrs, though. If those Zephyrs, are, if those Zephyrs go down, the Thrones don't have much to fight. Don't have much to fear. And in all this time, Santa has been rebuilding. They have more Thrones up, more Saushin up. Magical, on the other hand, was being pressured into their base and has nothing ready. Like, Santa's playing this carefully. Not, not, not pushing too hard. They don't know where Magical's set up, where Magical's expanded. So, want to make sure that they aren't going to lose their forces foolishly. But they have the setup. Fortunately now, so does Magical. Or fortunately for Santa, so does Magical. The Castigators coming in here are not going to do anything? Oh wow, they did not last. Dealt some damage, but Santa seems to have figured that they have such a significant advantage in army value that it doesn't matter. Like, they could afford to lose a throne or two. They're so far ahead, which... Is not entirely true. Magical actually has an expansion lead. Or, sorry, not an expansion lead. No, wait, my bad. They had an expansion lead. Magical did have an economic lead over Santa. So Santa, they, like, they wiped out Magical's third. They kind of had to wipe out Magical's third. The distance mining continues apace. So Santa Claus, they did not actually significantly reduce reduce Magical's economy, and they themselves did not have a very strong economy either. So, that attack, while it was strong, Santa cannot get cocky, or Magical will be able to get a comeback. That would help you know if Santa actually expanded. That would do them a lot. Oh, okay, they have expanded out here. But they're essentially on par with Magical right now, and Magical is ready for an Air Force. They're ready to clip Santa's wings. And Santa, while they have shut it over heavy to Saushin again. It's a good question whether or not it's going to actually do the trick. Like numbers, positioning, the Ark Mother. It's going to matter a lot for this. Magical prepping a run by. Not able to find anything to work with as Santa did not expand over on the hill. Or on the cliff. On the ridge. They didn't expand on the ridge. They expanded in the canyon. But Santa with the double expansion. Starting to get a position to get an economic lead. Magical. Again, they are ready to deal with air. They are ready to deal with ground. So long as they position themselves correctly. And they have the healing from the hallowed ground off the Ark Mother. They have the damage reduction field off the active ability of the Ark Mother. So it's just a question of whether Santa Claus can basically just power through this force before it does any damage. But Santa Claus completely out of position. Magical has this expansion on lock. Santa Claus going for the pyre. Yeesh, this is n this is not going to work out for them. They're going to lose an expansion. Like. 400 alloy for 100 pyre is the trade that Santa's deciding is worth the pyre. Well, we'll see if that pays off. 
Magical at the moment is just not contested at all. Like, there's nothing in the way. But hey, 100 Pyre. Santa Claus has Salvation again. Do they use it? What do they use? I mean, they just got a bunch of Pyre. They, they spent an expansion for Pyre. What are they going to use that Pyre for? Because if they don't, they are dead. Like, this was the mistake I was alluding to or that could turn the game around. Santa Claus now on the back foot. Their early air game doing them no good whatsoever. Their expansion destruction didn't really pay off as now they're even on bases. And the ancient take is only helpful if they actually spend that pyre. Which Magical's slowly closing the gap to. Or actually, not slowly, fairly quickly closing the gap to. Santa Claus coming in from the low ground on top of that. Gonna be struggling. Drops the Heaven's Aegis. Damage reduction on all sides. Magical losing their Archmothers immediately. Santa Claus' Archmothers way in the back. Magical at Salvation pulling the Archmothers out of the fight. Santa Claus with their own Salvation as well. Neither side will be able to lose forces significantly. But of course, any damage dealt is still damage dealt. Oh, if the Cassiers go down, Salvation... Ooh, Salvation is over. The Cascaders are still in the field. Magical pushed back, but they didn't lose their army. And that tower healing, getting them back online. This may not have been worth it. Santa Claus slowly, she slowly but surely healing. It's just... Well, given the circumstances, doesn't seem like it really did really paid off. Only maybe a couple of Castigators went down. So the Throne Switch could still be useful. I mean, the Castigators were reduced in number. Santa Claus seems to be focusing entirely on just going Archman of the Throne support. Archman of the Throne Saushin. They want, they want that beefy front line. They want to have Thrones actually dealing with their opponent's force. Magical, on the other hand, Drawn is a party. Are they worried about being ether starved Possibly. They're a bit behind in expansions. Magical going for a run-by. Splitting as you can now. Actually, this map's really good for splitting, come to think of it. Goes to the run-by on the third. Actually, goes to the split. Santa Claus is going to lose an expansion. If they cancel this expansion in the bottom, they can defend the expansion in the top and be fine. Looks like Santa Claus instead decided to rotate back. Are they going to cancel? Are they going to cancel? They are not going to cancel. That's $300. They're not going to get back quickly. Like, you know. I suppose not the most significant loss of this stage in the game, but that's a throne. That, 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 that got canceled. That was a throne that Santa could have built. And another throne would not be a bad idea right now. Magical being forced to regroup as Santa pushes the assault. It's definitely Santa's advantage, but only slightly. Magical ready to contest directly. Santa, Santa starts the fight. Going hard, not getting much. Magical retreating. Knowing they don't want... There's no point going for an open field battle right now. They don't have the forces to deal with it. And the Castigators being tagged first would have been... That would have been death if Magical had joined that fight. So, good job them. Santa Claus once again going for the Ancient. Magical not in a position to start... To cost a base. This is going to be free for Santa Claus this time compared to last time. Like, last time... Santa Claus had to pay dearly. This time, there is going to be a fight in the field here. And Santa Claus, are they ready for this? They do have the, they have it. They can drop Salvation, but it might still be on cooldown. No, it is not. Salvation pops, saving both thrones. Okay, made up for the loss of the expansion earlier. Oh wait, they only saved one of the thrones. Oh, they only saved one of the thrones. Ah, still saved one of the thrones. Still something. Shh. 
Sheesh. Well, Ancient kind of worked out. I mean, Santa's still ahead in Pyre, even after using Salvation, so... Now, that, is still, that is something, but again, Magical, with the Assault on the 4th, Santa once again out of position to deal with it. Are they going to be able to save this expansion? Santa Claus, if they lose this one more time, I mean, Magical has their 4th up, they're getting their 5th. Santa Claus isn't exp losing this expansion would... Mean Magical gets the advantage. Heavens, he just drops for Santa. Magical not going for any power abilities quite yet. But Magical with the healing off the hallowed ground. Is that going to be enough? Santa Claus gradually pushing Magical back. Saushin speed reduction is doing its job. Santa Claus enveloping Magical's force. Wiping it out to a man. The two thrones, the only forces able to really escape along with the token force of anti-air. It's not going to be enough as Magical is pushed back to their base and Santa Claus takes game two. That was one hell of a back and forth. I mean, the one last shot there was Santa Claus. Like, defending that expansion was the key thing. That that defend If that expansion had not been defended, Santa Claus would have lost the game. But, yeah, solid surround on their part. Takes the whole match. So, well done, Santa Claus. Pulled that back, and now we're going to game three. Magical choice of map. And if I had to guess, I would say it's probably going to be Lost Province again. Or possibly Frontiers. Oh, Frontiers, yep. So, Frontiers. Ike or Rush, more than likely. And that that has always that has been Magical's preferred playstyle on this map. Which needs to be reasonable to assume they do it again. I mean, why wouldn't they? It's it's worked like every time so far, I think. Yeah, and there it is, Mala. Right off the top. So, for what it's worth, Santa Claus not going for Orzen this time. So, we will be able to see whether or not defense is possible with Arjari on Frontiers. We saw Edelander try this before, and it didn't work out. Santa Claus, in the same position, with the same Immortal, giving the same shot at defending, likely the same strategy for Magical as Magical. They're starting for it. Yep, to go for the early Aether Maw. That's, that's the first sign. Ether Expo, Alter Ether, and then quick into Soul Foundry, sorry, into Amber Womb, and God Heart. The moment that you get the chance, the moment the, the Amber Womb's done, sorry, the moment the Altar is done, you build the Amber, Amber Womb, and then get the God Heart soon after, and then Neurosite. It's we've seen it before. We'll see it again. Magical is going for it. Santa Claus. Has the early expansion. They have... Okay, they are definitely going to go for the early Reliquary. I mean, they must be aware. They know Magic is going to go for the i Rush. I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing players not fast expand on this map. Against Aru, just because of the i Rush potential. I don't know for sure, but it just seems like... There's so much damage that can be caused by an i Rush that it's difficult to defend two bases against, especially this frontal expansion, that it wouldn't surprise me if we start seeing players just one base. When we had Zentari Rushes as a thing, Zentari Pillar Rushes way back, that was the counter. It was basically go one base. Like, defend one base and then push back from there. Oh! Oh, Magical's fainting it out! Okay, this is new! Well, a bit of a shame we won't see whether or not the i defense would work, but... Magical clearly cluing in, like Santa's going to defend an i push, so don't go for an i push. Or at least not obviously. They're going to have early-ish i but not as early. Mass Hunters are going to be able to get some Pyre, be able to get extra early damage. 
possibly throw off Santa? But it does buy Santa time. It's more important. Like, Santa now is the time to get the Absolvers. They have time to get... If they wanted to get any Reliquary units, but it looks like Absolvers are the main defense. Time to set up a wall. So Santa is actually doing... Like, they're, get, they're kind of getting a hand... They're getting a bit of an easy mode here. At least easier than Itlander had it. Itlander, Itlander got the full brunt of the Ikor assault, like like true Ikor rush. Santa's getting a bit of extra time. Has the reliquary as well, so yeah, they're they're gonna be ready. They have everything they need. Because remember, it's Ikor Thrum, but Santa knows they're getting the Sentinels up. They're getting the ability to build Zephyrs. They can get Absolvers when they need to. Focusing heavily on tech, though. I guess they. Having not seen Ikors and knowing Ikors are going to be coming in close to the 4-minute mark. But Magical's not going for it as heavily. Again, they're shifting off into a bit more of a straightforward brute force. So Magical, like, they're losing a lot of their initiative. Santa Claus has essentially won the tech race. Magical's going to need to find, like, some way of taking that advantage back. They are getting Pyre, which is good. Getting Pyre is at least useful. It's just not everything. Like Santa Claus, they have to. They all they have really have to do right now is build up and stay set up. They can start harassing once they get the wardens up. They can, as long as they can defend, they're fine. They're losing out on Pyre, but it's not the biggest deal. Like, yeah, you don't want to lose out on Pyre if you can help it. And Ajari is better on straight up fight with Pyre. It's just, yeah, this defense it took, it took a while to set up. Actually, it may have taken too long. It looks like Santa might have gone cocky as Magical is able to start just pushing through. Santa's wall is a thing. As is the, oh, as is the use of defensive moats because why not? They're gonna die anyway. Make them die. Go down swinging. May have the warden. Warden's up. That's all it needs. Warden, Zephyr. Again, Santa Claus got a lot more time to work with. The Magical is trying to build essentially a counter defense force. That wasn't up in time. Santa Claus did lose a fair few moats, but now we've got a Warden across the map. And that Warden crossing the map is going to basically completely counter this. Well, okay. Yeah, mind, mind the turret. But yeah, that Warden is going to completely counter the assault here as they can just walk around the back. This Masked Hunter is not a threat. The Thrum, however, is. Actually, the Thrum is a significant threat. Magical getting those just in time. Oh boy, was it just in time. Yeah, actually, that Warden won't be able to get the revenge it, that Santa Claus seeks. Santa Claus has now gotten on the back foot. Magical is set up for basically anything they want pyre-wise. They're getting the third... They have a reasonably strong army with tech. They have harassment coming around the back with no defenses ready to deal with it, except, I guess, the Bastion, but that's not really enough. A Sentinel is on the way, but it will not be ready by the time the Thrums get into Santa's base, so Santa will be losing a few more moats before all is said and done. And unfortunately, made too tight of a wall, it turns out. Magical... Possibly a little scared. They were slowing down a little bit, a little bit scared of getting counter countered with their thrums, leading to the Sentinel being up in time. These thrums not able to find any damage because of that slight delay from Magical Santa Claus, the very least by keeping Magical like respecting them, is able to get like defense on confidence. That is that is Santa's strategy right now. Just if they can rattle. Magical's confidence enough that magic, whether or not Magical can actually deal with Santa's forces, Santa has the time to build up the forces so that they don't have to worry about dealing with them. Very, very clever on Santa's part. I don't know if it's really intentional, but man, it's working out. And nothing else. Just defense by intimidation. That's, that is how wars are won. So yeah. Well, kind of. I mean, it's won by 
cops, your opponent not wanting to fight you. But intimidation is one way to do that. In any event, Santa Claus... Ew, no. Man, really? Really? Game... Th Great. I guess we thankful it hadn't happened yet, but... That's frustrating. Man, that was a really good game. Yeah, worst crash in history. Absolutely right. <sighs> that was a cool little you know, back and forth of different strategies and such. Man. Oh, it looks like both games crash, server crash. Yeah, there's definitely no deciding the winner. Like that, that was even. That there's. I would not say that there was a significant advantage one way or the other, so we're probably going to have to replay. So, Edelander will win off of their game, but again, Sand and Magical have a game three to play once... Once we get back up and running, at least. Zephyrus, why did you ask about crashes? No! Could have waited. Could have waited until after the tournament. Alright, well, we gotta finish this up for the winner's finals, so let's finish this up for the winner's finals. Phew, man. Like, it was, it was dead heat. It really was a dead heat. None other player had the advantage. Magical definitely was starting to gain an advantage, but neither player had an advantage. Oh, and it was on Canyon. No, it's on Frontiers. That's right. It's Magical picked Frontiers. Okay. Well. Let's try this again, shall we? Santa Claus, Jari, Magical... I, I guess... Do we just do a Immortal Replay? I guess. Magical... Does they have to go Mala? I mean, I'd like to see them go for Mala again. Honestly, again, I would like to... Okay, they're going for Mala. I think I would like to see just the straightforward push. Like, the, the Icor Rush. If that works for timing. As it didn't seem like Magical had a lot of opportunities they simply weren't taking because they were sure they would work. Which gave Santa Claus more time than they otherwise would have to defend. That was definitely giving it a, a, a lot to Santa Claus that Magical might have realized. Well, considering the circumstances, we might need to... Hmm. 
Hmm. I think we might just have that anyway. Cause like, Magical might be getting a bit tired at this point. Wouldn't be surprised if they just threw in for Icor Rush. Alright. Let's try this again, shall we? So, well, okay. I don't know if... When is it going to be the crash? I don't know. Alright, Magical needing a small break. That's fair. Again, I'm pretty sure they're trying to get... I might be getting a little bit annoyed. Take a breath, catch the breath. I mean, that is a consideration. After all. It's like, it's kind of an... It's an intense game. Let's be honest, it's not it's not simple. So I can I can understand why they'd be wanting to spend a little bit of extra time to get their head back on. And of course, you know, after a long game like that ending in a crash, that's never that is never good for morale. So yeah, that makes sense. No faults. I mean, in fairness, they have like four minutes at this point. All right. Hopefully, the next patch of the minimap be a little more correct because there's a ramp here that's not shown. And I remember first seeing the minimap for this again, thinking, okay, this is kind of silly, but then there's a, actually a path between these two little sections and these two little sections, and then I thought it was good. Yes, I know, that's, uh, that's all the change was what changed my mind about it, but yeah, that's changed my mind. So, what will Magical do on this th Game 3 Remake? Well, again, early... Early Aether, as before. Santa Claus building up for early expansion. Nothing too out of the ordinary yet. But again, last time we saw up to Altar and then Magical completely changed up what they were doing. So, we'll see if they do that again. They seem to expect Santa would defend the i just fine. But they might also want to try to push it a bit. See what happens. Like, maybe... Because again, the timing was really not working in their favor. Santa Claus was getting a lot of mileage out of Magical being a little bit later on this stuff than they had been previously. Ooh, Santa Claus going for more forward wall this time. Not going for the between natural and main, going for in front of natural. That spot specifically is very strong because that's the fastest path for Rikros to get through. Cutting that off gives Santa Claus way more time to defend. Very clever. Amber Womb coming up, and Santa Claus Scout has been ejected from the base. 
We are seeing Amber without the additional Masked Hunters. Magical is going for the straightforward Ikor Rush. Deciding to avoid sacrificing time for a more robust push. Go for the cheese. Well, not the cheese. Go for the go for the strong push. Oh, and Scout does come back. Santa is aware. It is going to be the direct fast Ikor Rush. Well, they're already getting set up to defend this. Getting half of the wall, too. So, one minute and a half for building up this wall. <laughs> for building up this wall is going to be... And it's going to be some time. I mean, it, this will be done. A third building should be able to be built in the meantime, but then Santa Claus does need some actual units. First Ikor come up. Magical switching back to Masked Hunters. So we're not going to see pure Ikor, but we are going to see Santa Claus thinking that we're going to see pure Ikor. Granted, they also see this Legion Hall here, so that might be a dead giveaway. Like, why would you build a second Legion Hall if you're going to go hard Ikor? You wouldn't. Yep, yeah, quick switch into Resonant. So Magical fainting on the Icor push, immediately going for tech. And Santa Claus is... They're in a decent position to deal with the Resonant as well. They're getting early Angelarium. I mean, they're trying to deal with the Mass Icor, but the counter to Mass Icor is not a bad choice against Resonant. It's not a great choice against Mass Hunters, mind you, but it's not a bad choice against Resonant. Mass Hunters can hit up, so the air units don't really do as well. For Santa, but yeah, magical going for a significant anti ground force means Santa might be able to do fine. Santa also prepping for the thrums, which are not currently forthcoming. That is going to be a that is going to be a weakness. That actually might be what magical needed Santa to do. Santa, however, is cluing in. There's no sign of thrum. There's no thrum. Don't go for Sentinel. We'll see a Warden instead. That's... That'll be what... That's what Santa needed. So Santa has the right units coming up. Magical has a stronger army at the moment. Setting up Blood Wells. Just to make sure they have that ability to... They can just siege up. Like, this is... This is Magical going for a Contain. Santa's not really going to let that Contain last for too long. If they can help it. Yeah, blood will goes away. There's there's no contain here. Magical Are they gonna oh they're gonna lose the resonant. They're gonna lose the resonant for free. <laughs> Solid warden micro over the high ground there. Santa Claus is able to keep magical from doing any damage. Santa Claus, they take out this resonant. There is nothing magical can really do to defend against this ground force. And it goes out of the way, not down, but gone. Icor aren't in significant numbers to, enough numbers to cause problems. Salshin able to slow things down a bit. And that is enough. With the uh, Warden Reinforcement, San is confident they have the DPS, and they do, at least to force Magical to retreat, takes out the Resonant. No significant strong ground force from Magical anymore, and Santa Claus has also pushed everything out of position. Thrum are on the way, but they are late. Santa Claus... Oh no, they're not late. Santa Claus delaying on their... The, they're delaying their raid. Just barely gave enough time for Magical to get the thrum, which does mean that, you know, Santa does avoid getting caught out. But, I mean, they had enough to deliver from evil. They weren't dead. They weren't going to lose those wardens if they were paying attention. Well, Magical seems to have played themselves, having gone, a, instead of going for a very fast early Icor push, having gone instead for a much slower, you know, resonant supported push that Magical, or that Santa was already kind of prepared for. I think it really was the speed, or the rather the, the pace of the assaults with the pure Icor that gives it its strength. 
And without that pace, there's not a whole lot that's going for it. Man, even with... Sp Holy crap, with speed... Even with the Saushin debuff, Ike were still just outrun everything. No, assuming that they are told to. Got a little caught up in that melee. Neuropsych was down! Okay, that... That's gonna give Santa Claus an extra minute just to get themselves up tech-wise, get themselves up construction-wise. They won't have to worry about any more... Or, actually, wait, no. They won't have to worry about upgrades. <laughs> Magical doesn't care. It's like, yeah, you can't, can't build resonance back up, but... Forget it. We'll just go for a direct Kittle Force. Who cares? Only give us time. Bit of a shame we can't have Spectator see the upgrades, though, because be, there were upgrades being built in that universe that would have been a much bigger deal than just a slight tech slowdown. Like, say, if Offering was under research, for instance. Now, Santa Claus relying heavily on these wardens to keep them alive right now. Of course, that's something Mass Hunters do well against. Is Magic going to play, play themselves again with their own wall? No, Mass Hunters do get through. Santa Claus is unable to significantly damage Magical's economy. Santa Claus doesn't seem to much care, though. Trying to expand around in Magical on their own harassment train. Making that a problem. Santa Claus not paying attention is going to lose both of their wardens. Their entire raid force has been taken out. Magical no longer has to worry about getting their expansions attacked while they themselves have free reign over Santa Claus of Southwest. Actually, Santa Claus is third. That's what that turns out to be. Magical slowly but surely getting the game back in their favor. And Santa Claus isn't the really well equipped to deal with this. Tech-wise, they have gone for Quick Thrones. Again, that's been their go-to. Not as quick as last time, only 9 minutes out of 6 minutes. And it will be spotted. It will be spotted. Yeah, there's there's no... There's no stopping these thrums if they decide to go in. That may be a big if. They have not yet decided to go in. Of course, throwing against this many masked hunters... Like, Magical's already set up to deal with Santa Claus' strategy... So the only real thing I can think of is that Santa Claus basically uses the thrones as a distraction while their dervish and general ground force takes out the masked hunters while the masked hunters are trying to take out the thrones. Like, it does kind of... It does kind of pin the masked hunters. Like, splits their attention a bit. It keeps them... It keeps them from being as effective as they would otherwise be. Of course, the dervish get themselves killed, then that won't actually do any good. As, you know, they are doing right now. So, well, they tried. Not very hard, mind you, but they tried. Unfortunate, too, because Santa Claus kind of needed those dervish to help out with the Mass Hunters. And now losing their third to a contingent of Mass Hunters just off to the side, because why not? Okay, we've seen this. We've seen this play out before. Santa Claus. Oh, they're not going. Oh, they're not going for the ancient. Okay, Santa Claus going to intercept the mass hunters instead. We'll get a few. We'll get all of them. No reinforcements. Magical's forces getting pincered out, and that is a complete kill. Same time, the throne to wipe out the third. So magical. Magical's had their fortunes completely reversed in the span of a few seconds. Of course, Mass Hunters are still here. And the root from the Dread Sister. Oof. One throne is dead. Second throne. Oh, no, it's not dead yet. Not dead yet. It's out of commission, though. Has to go back to a tower to heal, but then again, there's towers everywhere. Santa Claus may not be playing Orzum the Immortal, but they are playing as or they are they're cosplaying Orzum. That's for sure. From here, Santa's 
Santa has the map control advantage. I mean, the Thrums are still being a thorn in their side. But hey, why not throw a warden around? Have the same effect. Why not have the warden commit suicide but force Magical's entire army off to the side? This might not be a bad time to attack, and Santa knows it. Have the Ark Mothers? Are they not going for it? They're not going for it. Huh. In fact, Santa's able to get that expansion over to the third. Alright, on the defensive. Santa is ready. That's a choke point working perfectly for them. Magical's not going to fall for that trap. Santa trying to find the nice position to work with. They could lose their throne. Magical getting an early lead in this fight. Santa Claus forced to regroup and retreat. Might be seeding the Ancient as well. Magical does spot Santa's maneuvers. The call is going to go down, but that saves the rest of the army from getting into a bad fight. Man, Magical is ready for this. Got the Behemoths up, got the Masked Hunters up. They have... Yeah, the Behemoths going to completely shut down the Saushin. And that leaves the Masked Hunters free. Like, like I said before, the Masked Hunters' attention would have been split between the Saushin and the Thrones, but with the Behemoths providing covering fire, it's not going to be a problem, the Saushin. Oh, come on! Again? You're kidding me! Ugh. <sighs> Every single time it gets interesting. Everything crash. I mean, everything crashes. Like the UI. Cr oh, no, the UI's not crashing. Sheesh. <sighs> I guess I gotta do it again. Sheesh, there's many th Game 3s as we've had games in this series. Or, we're supposed to have games in this series. Bloody best of five at this point. <sighs> well, they put the logs up at least. Like, unfortunately, again, that was even. A little concerned because we still have still have losers finals best of one and then grand finals which is a best of five well best of four but best of five essentially
Oh, I can't. I'm sorry, but I'm busy. That was rude. <sighs> I think they were made for magical anyway, so... Alright, I need to... Just give me a sec. Don't want to throw it a complete break, but we are going to be just looking at the bracket for a sec. I... All right. Hopefully, hopefully this is it. If not, I don't know. Like, I swear, it doesn't normally crash this much. <laughs> kind of new, but okay.
Oh. Sorry. Yeah, I know, but I need to keep the color as normal. Otherwise everything breaks. Okay. Are we finally getting into the game? Well, luckily, there's, there is a bug with the game kind of just sort of taking forever to load, which is known, and the fix is known, so that should be next patch. I hope, hopefully it's next patch anyway. But, yeah, the crashes are another story. So yeah, if, if this ever finishes, which presumably will at some point, imagine someone will just make a call, like one way or the other. But once this is done, then the winner will fight Eatlander. And the winner of that will fight, or sorry, the loser will fight Eatlander, and the winner of the fight between Eatlander and the loser of this match fights the winner of this match with a one game disadvantage. I say, well, I commend Magical for being pretty creative with the way they've been doing this stuff. I also am... Like, I commend their creativity, but I'm also kind of wondering if they're going to be doing just straightforward screw you, I kill you now, Icor Rush, because with all the game crashes, it's like, you gotta think at some point you just kind of go and hope for the best. All right, let's get no. Let's get the game started. There we go. So game three, take three. With. Looking like the same strategy. Yeah, that's all I'd say. Yeah, artist games are hard, harder to develop. I mean, there's been discussion about why, and I have opinions that I don't want to really be candid about right now. But yeah. It is not a genre with a lot of ready-made tools available to create it as separate as Separate commercial products. Anyway, magical. They are going for the Amber Womb. Looks like it's going to be a straightforward approach. Oh, the game does not have a patrol command yet. I don't know what the plan is there exactly because I've asked about that and it, I, I'm not the person to ask. Like I've asked about that. I don't really know for sure. And it just currently isn't in. 
I don't know what the plan is. I don't know what... Because there's a lot of UI stuff that hasn't been developed yet. There's a lot of UI stuff that's kind of still in flux or still being worked on. So, Patrol, I cannot answer that question. Besides, it currently doesn't exist. That's the only thing I can say. It would be nice, for sure. But, no. I trust the team has some good ideas for UI stuff because the Tom Jack Attack, the guy who's taking care of you, or the lead on UI, is someone who thinks deeply about user interface issues and how best to solve them without necessarily resorting to old tried methods, but instead experimental methods that would work better. So I don't know what the plan is, but I trust that it will be, I trust that it'll work well, whatever is done for unit command. No Source Start Edition does exist, in fact, it's called Spring, but it's, it's really good if you're trying to make a game like Total Annihilation or Supreme Commander. It's a little bit more to wrangle if you're not. But yeah, the Spring Engine is definitely... It definitely exists. It's something I have worked with with Zero K, which is one of the more popular games in the Spring Engine. It has... It It's... Like I said, if you want like streaming economy, total annihilation type thing, it works perfectly. Like Streaming economy, full zoom, all that stuff. Like, it's, it's great. If you want something more like this, like... Uh, Immortal, or just any kind of game where you're more focused on individual units with individual abilities and all that, it there's not a whole lot to work on as a template. Like, you'd be building a lot of stuff yourself. I'm not sure where you got Roach from. No, Spring is the name of the engine. Roach, I... No Roaches here. I'm in the West Coast. We don't have Roaches here. Closest we have are stink bugs. Anyway, as for the game itself, magical once again going for what they would went for last the second try of going for a couple like were faint into Mass Hunter Zikal. Though earlier in the thrum, actually, also earlier on the okay, they did not build a red veil last time. Magical rushing the tech tree this time, realizing... I think kind of realized from the earlier matches, earlier attempts at Game 3, different ways they can make incubators work, different ways they could make the shift to Masked Hunters more smooth. Realizing that like, Santa's going to defend this just fine, so don't even go for it. And yeah, we're basically seeing what we saw in Take 2 just faster and with more commitment. Like, Magical, if nothing else, is much more sure of themselves this game than they have been in the previous two, or this Game 3, than in the previous two Game 3s, or attempts at Game 3. As for... As for how this game is going to progress, I mean, it looks like Santa's... God, I should never say that it looks like again. Santa has the composition that would at least help against the Masked Hunters. They don't really have a composition helping against the Calls over much. Only one Zephyr. So Santa really needs to find some way of getting their, like, their army back to the way they want it. Before, they were rushing Thrones, and I expect they're going to rush Thrones again. Just, it's what they've been doing so it makes sense to continue it's they've got the third base they have from there the ether income converting that into thrones is quite plausible but we don't see any throne buildings they've not built one yet well magical again has been much more confident in their tech 
They're going for it as directly as they can. They're swinging around the map, trying to find any openings, any weaknesses. And I just realized how beautiful this map is. Sorry. And the... It really is, though. Like, just... God... I want to go on an open field like this. I mean, I have... There are some around here that are like this, but... Actually, there's some in the town I live in that are like this, which is nice. Maybe I should go to a park today. That'd be... That'd be a nice thing to do. No, oh, actually, it's quite wet. Maybe I shouldn't. Anyway, oh, I'm just... Wow, okay. I don't know why this particular section of map caused me to suddenly, like, flash back to my childhood when life was simpler, but it did. And now I'm feeling kind of nostalgic. And you'll excuse me if it takes me a second to regain my composure. All right, all right, we're back. Santa Claus having the economic advantage here... That has not paid off yet. And Magical has this opportunity now to take this army. If they take if Magical goes to this fight and takes it. Oof, that fire sting was perfectly placed by Santa Claus. Magical still has their pressure coming in. Santa has to worry about where they're gonna attack. Magical with the rain of blood. Just get that extra little bit of advantage for their forces. Ma Santa's trying to counter the Heaven's Aegis is simply not going to be good enough. Double offering thanks to the rain of blood. Top of that, setting up Red Harvest. So it's a win-win for Magical no matter who dies. Like, Magical... Okay, expecting upgrades anytime now just to finish the job. They've checkmated out this base. Third expansion for Santa Claus is going to go down. The economic lead... The attempt at economic lead has been thwarted. Magical's confidence in their tech paying off in this third attempt at a Game 3. Santa Claus now... So far in the back foot, they cannot dance today. They have to they have to go back and heal them. They, they've got two back feet. Throne co Thrones are on the way, so if nothing else, Santa Claus at least has a path. It's just one that Magical has already accounted for. Again, these Masked Hunters, they scary. And Magical has a ton of blood in reserve. They can upgrade a bunch of their Masked Hunters if they want to from the Red Harvest. Or a bunch of their units in general if they want to from the Mast Harvest. From that Red Harvest. Ooh. <laughs> Tried to root that out there, huh? Yeah, Santa Claus is... Not going to get a whole lot of damage off this harassment, let's be honest. There's too, much way too many ways to root out this throne. There's the... The... Wraith bows here are going to be causing, like, just gonna stop them at every turn. Mass Hunters are up as well. Got the surround. Santa Claus losing a throne for basically free. Not getting a lot of damage off of it at the very, very, very least. Like, if nothing else, it is providing a distraction to get the third back. While Magical gets a fourth. Magical maintaining this solid economic lead that they've gained early on in the game. Santa Claus struggling to find a way to crack that shell the Magical's wrapping around them. Now, in fairness, Santa Claus does have a significant amount of pyre. Not enough for salvation, but enough for a deliver from evil if they go for an ill-fated attack. The fourth may not be so ill-fated. Magical out of position. Santa Claus going at the perfect timing. Swing in, deal some damage, and teleport out might be the play. Santa Claus will want to walk out as best they can, but Magical knows the path they're going to take. Immediately blocks that off. Santa Claus has to either fight their way out, fight their way in as the thrones are going for, or deliver from evil is the option of choice for most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. Three remaining thrones in Magical's base gives Santa Claus the opportunity to deal some production damage. Which, if nothing else, will give Santa Claus... Actually, Santa Claus needs this. They can take out the production. They will be far better able to, like, stay in this game. 
Because right now, thinking the supply block magical, there's a, some hope, but magical, then another rain of blood takes out the third for free. Natural is threatened. Magical, a little bit concerned about these thrones, but it's doing a fine job keeping their units alive, keeping their economy alive the best they can in the process. Same cannot be said for Santa Claus. Magical actually hasn't lost any bases right now. They could pretty quickly rebuild everything. Oh no, they did lose space. My bad. They're rebuilding that. But Magical doesn't care. Magical's just slowly but surely getting themselves into the game-winning position. They have Deep Nest out. Behemoths are on the way. Thrones are being a threat. More importantly, though, Santa Claus is not being allowed to expand. Magical. Magical, if they can hold off Santa Claus's attacks, will have no problem counterattacking. Like, the thrones are causing some issues, and Magical is struggling to expand to get their army up, but their army has not died. Like, they've maintained their own forces far better than Santa has. Of course, Santa is becoming more and more of a threat. Magical joining the fight gets that to get any roots down. Just really trying to go for it, but no, just taking out a few forces here and there. Loses a significant chunk two swords twice. That's half their mass hunters just go right. Twenty supply of mass hunters just go. Oh, twenty supply, like yeah, half the mass hunters, half the mass hunters gone. Magical does not care, does not see that as a threat. Continues to push. Santa Claus. Did enough damage to stop Magical from continuing the push, though. I mean, this... A lot of weak mass hunters, a lot of dead mass hunters. Those thrones still did their job. If nothing else, they kept Magical from taking the game right away. They did not, however, stop Magical from taking the expansions. Magical now four bases with a fifth on the way. And Santa Claus rebuilding their third for the third time. Which is a pattern today. Doing the third thing three times over. Santa Claus absolutely carrying with that pat this uh Well, eh, the map's getting polished up a bit still. These rocks are a little awkward for collision, but again, I guess it's, it builds builds up. Santa Claus currently in the best position they've had so far to take a fight, still kinda behind. But they have enough for Heaven's Aegis. So despite the army value disadvantage, they could hold in. However, Magical, they they got Rain of Blood on deck. And now would be a good time to use it. Oof. Maybe not quite now, but you know, next time they actually get into a fight. Would be a good time to use it. That, or, you know, they had the Red Harvest, they could use that to upgrade some units. Magical has so many options available to them right now, and Santa Claus is consistently trying to hold their way back in the game. Oh, and having gone that ancient, Magical's just made it that much harder for Santa Claus. And Ma like Magical's just being careful, you know, healing up, making sure they're not, not being reckless with their forces, and that's been giving them a lot of room. Granted, that does buy Santa time. This is the thing that was giving Santa some room to maneuver in the first couple of attempts of Game 3, is that Magical will at some point get a little bit underconfident in their ability to push, and that gives Santa Claus room to breathe. And then with that room to breathe, they start expanding. They start building up an army. They get into scary positions, like they have now. Magical does have their big blob of units over in the corner, and has also crossed the 160 mark for the first time in this entire game's history. Magical has on, str on, on stream, Magical has built more than 160 supply worth of units. Magical's got a big army. Santa Claus, nowhere near as big. Magical with the rain of blood. Santa Claus doing everything they can to defend, to prevent damage. Drops the swords, takes out a significant amount of the army here. Magical forced out of the fight, but still has an advantage directly here. 
having sir, having whether that first assault magical is on the revenge path will the throne go down it does get sniped Santa Claus pushed back into the base does have a fourth under construction magical may not allow that to live another rain of blood drop wait really it's not on cooldown okay that's surprising anyhow the regardless magical still is pushing through continuing to provide that damage the Saushin simply aren't going to be able to do enough mass hunters body blocking for the dressers and the dressers have done their job they got their roots got the kittle and the birthing storm they've got everything they need as magical pushes in and takes game three for real this time we have finished the winner's finals. So we're going to take a short break, as we set up for the loser's finals. So please stay tuned as we set up the loser's finals, which will be up between Itlander and Santa Claus. And apparently Magical has also decided they have gone from loving Frontiers to absolutely hating it after that game. Oh, okay, so there's, there is actually a bug with the worker mining in that map. All right, good to know. Anyway, something for bug reports. Yeah, small break. We'll be back in a few minutes, so stay tuned. No. You should have... Wait, what's going on? <laughs> 